Hello and welcome to today's lesson. My name is Teacher Daphne and today we're going to look at the different experiments that are carried out on soil. Most of them are going to be about the components of soil. Remember the components are air, water, living organisms, humus and we're going to use, use experiments to find out if actually the components we claim are found in soil can be proved experimentally and so let's dive straight into our lesson experiments on soil and the very one the first one we are going to look at is the experiment to see the components that are found in topsoil to show the texture of topsoil. Topsoil is that soil where we do the farming, where most of the living organisms do their life. So, so this is one of the most important parts of soil to talk about because that's where we do most of the things that we do. So, what we shall need is a measuring cylinder. How you will go on with the experiment so that you come up with the result. So put water in a measuring cylinder about, about halfway the cylinder. Number two. We measure about 20 cubic centimeters. You can use another cylinder to measure the 20 cubic centimeters and add to water. After stirring thoroughly, we let it stand for some time. which could be about 20 minutes and then we observe what has happened and this is how it will look like shall have big particles set at the bottom shall have smaller particles following so this will be the gravel this will be gravel are those particles those small soil particles not too small but they're used in making concrete. If you, if you see people use making concrete with cement, now the stone particles right there are the gravel. Then they could be slightly smaller than that. This will be our sand particles. Sand particles are much smaller than in gravel. And here we, should, we shall have even smaller ones. This 
is our silt. Silt, as the silt particles are smaller than sand particles. And above here as well, we shall have the clay. Clay. And then we shall have water. And some water here suspended and then we shall have on top our humus humus usually floats on top of the water humus that is humus then here we shall have a clay suspension oh that's what happens when we get topsoil and mix it and mix it with water stir it and let it stand for a moment it has gravel has sand silt clay and humus which floats on top okay so now we can look at another experiment which is the experiment to determine that soil contains air this is the same experiment that can help us to determine the amount of air that's found in any type of soil. So the amount of air contained in soil. What shall we need? Those are the apparatus or materials. Those are our materials. Procedure. How shall we carry out the experiment? Almost, we shall fill our measuring cylinder. We shall fill the measuring cylinder with water about 50 cubic centimeters. Into the measuring cylinder and add soil 50 cubic centimeters too. So we add 50 cubic centimeters so that the total of them is 100 cubic centimeters. The next thing we do is to stir up the mixture. Now after stirring up the mixture, the level of water is not going to be the same because as we stir up, some air bubbles escape and in the end we have a water level that is lower than 100. We notice that some bubbles leave, so our observation is This is a sign that if it's not a hundred, where did the where did that percentage of water go? That was air that escaped as bubbles. So this experiment confirms to us that actually soil contains air. Now the next thing for us to do is to determine how much air was there in the soil. For us to be able to determine the amount of so of, of soil air. We shall take the initial volume of water and soil, which was a hundred, and subtract off the final volume of water and soil after stirring. Now that 
that volume lost will be the volume of air. So, So we shall take the initial volume of the mixture minus the final volume of the mixture of, of soil and water and that will give us the amount of air in the soil and after that we, shall, we can find the percentage too. So what we shall, how we shall get the percentage? By taking And that will be able to give us the, the percentage of air within the soil. For example, assuming Let's assume that the volume of air and soil after stirring was We can find the volume of air by the volume before stirring minus the volume after stirring which will be this is the volume of air and now we can also find the percentage of air that is of soil which is 50 times a and that should be able to give us the answer in percentage, which is 30%. So our volume, our volume of air will now be 30%. Sorry, 30. 30%. Because we multiply it by 100. Important for us to notice, to remember, is that different types of cells have different air percentages. For example, Sand soil has more air than loam soil, and loamy soil has more air than clay soil. And so that is the experiment that can help us to determine the amount of air in soil, but also prove that soil contains air.